Now you grew up in Florida. You're probably familiar with this guy, Juan Ponce de Leon, the Spanish explorer who crashed into what's now known as St. Augustine. That happened on April 8, 1513. Ponce de Leon was on a mission. His goal? Bimini, an island rumored to house the elusive Fountain of Youth. He'd already made a pit stop in Puerto Rico to search for the magic spring, but when he couldn't find his treasure, he continued onward right to our backyard. Hey, and you know, Ponce de Leon is the guy behind Florida's name. Back then, people got a little bit confused about world geography. Ponce thought that he had landed on a brand new island, which he named Florida. Not only because of the flowery plants our state is home to, but also because he discovered the island around Easter time, which is called Pascua Florida in Spain. But while people credit him, you know, with discovering Florida, historians think it was maybe more of a rediscovery. There's enough evidence out there to believe Spanish explorers on slave expeditions to the Bahamas had made it as far as the East Coast years before him. Either way, for Ponce de Leon, Florida was his other home and ultimately his demise. In 1521, he came back, this time to our side of the state, where he was attacked by warriors of the Calusa tribe. The legend says the hero took a poison arrow to his thigh. Wow. Yeah. And a cool other fact about Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon. He was the uh, first governor of Puerto Rico. I did not know that. Yeah. I did not know basically any of that. Yeah. So uh, I like that. Good stuff on a Monday morning. Yeah, no problem. Coming from Jabari Thomas. How do you say it? Ponce de Leon? Ponce de Leon. You say it like you know him.